about seven months since a family of four was killed in a crash in San Francisco's West Portal neighborhood. And now the first round of safety improvements have been completed. Ground Force Dan Kerman has more on those neighborhood changes. West Portal, one, two, three. Yeah. Politicians, city staff, and community members gathered in San Francisco's West Portal neighborhood Friday to celebrate the completion of the first round of traffic improvements since a driver struck and killed a family of four back in March. The problem wasn't just at Yaloa and West Portal. The problems were at Vicente and Vicente and Wawona, that we needed a neighborhood-wide approach to traffic calming. Balancing safety improvements without turning people away from neighborhood businesses was no easy task. The original plan... Um did have some pretty significant restrictions for cars to get onto West Portal Avenue. Will Baumgartner is a member of the community group that worked with the MTA to better balance everyone's needs. Rather than try to really restrict cars in a massive, massive way, it was more about changing the character of the streets in the larger area so that when drivers are entering the West Portal area, that they are giving uh, they're getting messages from the way that the street is designed that this is a place to slow down. Among the changes, installing traffic calming measures on Uloa, Vicente, and Wawona streets, adding vehicle restrictions and transit lanes, converting Lenox Way to one-way southbound traffic, and adding speed bumps on Wawona Street between Terravel and 14th Avenue. Also, no more left turns from northbound West Portal onto Uloa Street. No westbound through traffic on Uloa at West Portal. And no left turns from southbound West Portal onto Vicente Street. This is about trying to make sure that we have a transportation network and infrastructure that allows for bikes, that allows for people who are walking, that allows for those who are catching muni and vehicles to be able to move around this city safely and efficiently. The hope is to have this project completed in the fall. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.